Hey, this video is going to be pretty exciting. It talks about tax advantages. I'm going to give you information on five things that you need to do research on. And if you follow through on what I'm telling you, it could mean a lot of money in your pocket. Look into it. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Frank Kinyas. I am the ambassador of reading. And today's topic is pretty exciting. Let me tell you, I was thinking um, about how I got me to retire at the age of 40. And I went back to my memory, memory bank. And I remember I was going to different seminars and buying different books, including Susie Orman, um, Robert Allen, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The Millionaire Next Door. And amongst that, I started learning. And along the way, I learned some stuff that got me to move in my finances. And let me tell you, even though I can go ahead and explain the five different things that I want to mention here today, today I'm just going to mention them. Because if I try to explain them as best as I could and I try to explain all five of them, chances are I'm not going to do a very good job explaining all five in one sitting. So what the team and I were thinking about is coming back and doing part, part two and then explaining that topic, part three, so on and so forth until we finish all of them. However, I do want you to research this. This could mean a lot of money in your pocket, and I mean a lot of money. There's this, there's this advantage, because it's called advantages on the taxes, that I don't think many people are aware of. There's this one advantage uh, called 1031 exchange, and that works for people that have uh, their own home where they live in, and then they have a rental. And a lot of the times what they do, what people do, and I know I did it, is we buy a single family home because the down payment on, on it is going to be less. The requirements are going to be less. So we buy into it thinking, oh, well, when I gain some money on it, when I get some capital gains, I'm going to go ahead and sell it and get the next one. And a the mistake they make is that they sell it, they get charged the taxes, and they lose out on that money. And I'm not saying you're not going to pay taxes. You are going to pay taxes. But if you use a 1031 exchange, they get deferred. So I want you to look into it. I'm not going to explain it fully here. The one thing that I've already told you, it's got to be the 1031 exchange gets used not on your property, but on a rental. And then there are rules and regulations for using the code, the 1031 exchange. <clears throat> the follow the guidelines, follow the rules, and it's going to be fine. I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to stop it at that. Now find out, look, this one is really easy. It's for people that are 55 or older. You can lower your home taxes. Uh, go to your city, ask them, how can I lower my taxes? And also, a lot of the times people don't want to move because they're paying a certain tax here on the city for this home. And as long as they move in with the same county, now you're going to have to look into it. Like I said, I'm just going to give you topics to think about that can give you advantages on the taxes, okay? So there's an advantage for people that are 55 or older that if they sell this house and they move to this house, their taxes don't go up. And a lot of times people don't want to move because they're afraid it's going to affect them. Well, once you hit 55, you can do that and your taxes are not going to be affected. There, there are rules and regulations. There are guidelines also that if you sell this house at a certain price, you cannot over, it cannot be like if you sell it at 500, you cannot buy one for 600 and expect the same taxes. It's got to be the same or less. But I'm going to let you do your own research. Do research on that. Uh, there's another one. Um, there's, uh, the, there's a Proposition 13 that has advantages. Now, instead of me explaining the Proposition 13, go look into Proposition 13 and find out what the advantages are for you as a homeowner. Now, I'm, I'm, I live here in the state of California, and maybe Proposition 13 doesn't apply to you. However, there are going to be propositions that are going to benefit you in your state. Find out what, what propositions work to your advantage as far as the taxes are concerned. Look into them, and if you can, use them. Take advantage of them. Well, they do them for a reason. There's another proposition for here in California. It's called Proposition 60. It's got an advantage, and I think it's going to be to your advantage to go look at Proposition 60 ask your accountant now all these questions you can ask your accountant and everyone has an accountant we all have to do file our taxes by april so when you go see your tax man if you ask them all these questions 
and especially during April, chances are he's gonna, he or she's gonna be like, oh no, no, I can't do that right now, come back and I'll ask you. So find, you can do your own research on the computer, ask friends, and they're not gonna give you the exact precise things, the precise answers, but when you finally get to your textman, maybe you wanna ask them about the 1031 because you have an extra home, or maybe you're 55, or maybe you're not 55 and you're thinking, oh, it doesn't concern me, but look, it's to your benefit to know about it before you get there. You don't wanna find out when you get there and then didn't know about it or didn't take advantage of it. Now there's one more thing. Here in California properties, uh, uh, home values go up really quick. I mean, you could buy a house today for 100,000 and a couple of months it's 125,000 and people think, well, I'm gonna to have to pay on capital gains. There's a rule and this ask your tax person, okay? Not your tax man, but your tax person. Um, if you live in your home by yourself, you could be exempt for up to $125,000. If there's two people living that are owners of the property, not just living there, but owners of the property, then one person gets 125 and the other person gets 125 on capital gains. For living over a year, you get 125 each. So now that exempts you for 250. Isn't that so cool? Look into it, go do a research. I mean, people spend so much time on nonsense, might as well learn something, take advantage of it and put money in your pocket. <clears throat> now I've been asked before, and I asked this before, hey, is it only 150 and 250 and that's it? It gets really exciting because if you live in your property for two years now, one person now gets two exempt for 250 and the other person gets exempt for another 250, that's 500,000 for two years. And yeah, you can do upgrades and the property can go up in value and you can be exempt up to 500,000. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review and we're grateful to be bringing information like this that benefits your, you and your pocket and sometimes your health, sometimes your relationship. <clears throat> we're very grateful to have you here on our channel. So I'm gonna review these things that I think you should look into. This is advantages on the taxes. You could take advantage and everything's legal. As long as you follow protocol, as, as long as you follow the guidelines, you're gonna be fine. So the first one that you wanna look into is called the 1031 exchange. It's powerful. It allows you to allow your money to grow without being taxed until the end. And if you inherit it, guess what? It never gets taxed, but you do your own investigation. Um, if you're 55 or older, can you transfer your taxes from this property to this property without them going up because you move? Yes, you can, but look at the guidelines. Ask the questions, do the proper procedure and, and follow, it, follow it up. If you, what you can do if you're 55 or older, you can go to the city, find out how to lower your taxes and they're gonna tell you for your property taxes. Um, Proposition 13, look into it and see how it benefits you. Proposition 60. Look into it and see how it benefits you. It was created in 1986 and it's got some pretty good benefits. Look into it. Now for purchasing a home and getting capital gains, remember if you live over a year, a year or more, uh, one person gets exempt 125, two people get exempt 125 each, which makes it a quarter of a million. For two years or more, uh, one person gets exempt 250, another person gets exempt 250, that's 500,000. I think that's something that you want to look into. Very well, we're going to leave it at that. Till next time, your friend, the Ambassador of Reading, wishing you well today and always knowing that you will find and get what you are looking for. Thank you for watching our channel and congratulations for making it here where we give information that benefits the individual that's watching and their loved ones. I invite you to subscribe and be part of our channel set the notifications and watch the new videos. Thank you and welcome.